Yes, I am Dr. Flaming Skull, and I am at the Pal Posse headquarters. A little bit of uh, convincing, a little bit of um, cajoling, and anything else that starts with a C. Shield Maiden, yeah, yeah, she just will not stop talking. She just will not stop talking. She drives me insane. Um, superstar. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, we've got a camera team following us around at the moment. He really knows that camera really well. He's, uh, he's almost like an actor. They're very, very, well, they lack action, and they're supposed to be action figures. They're supposed to be superheroes, and they just sit around and masturbate all day long, really. Verbal diarrhea. That sounds like my, hmm? that sounds like my daily routine. Well, that's just Masturbating children. and diarrhea. <laughs> It's a good place to start. It's a good place. Well, you know, it can't get any worse, can it? The quick. I've never seen him move, so he must be fast. But whenever I see him, he's just sitting down or standing up, doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. The only place his name is correct is when he's in bed. Evil Hand. Yeah, she's um, she's coming up. She's doing very well. It's really hard to get good villains these days. Joking has it. Um. Well, he's a special needs child. Yeah, yeah, he has uh, some difficulty with reality. Um, I think he watched too many uh, reality programs and too much Fox television. And I think that's scarred him for life, really. He, ca he can't tell the difference now between reality and fiction. There's no, there, there's a very fine line or there's no line at all. Someone, was it David Mamet said that Harry Potter was about overcoming adversity, finding yourself and, you know, developing character. And the Twilight series was about how important it was to have a girlfriend. It's good that, that um, the, you know, the villain is a new hero because I'm, I'm running out of stock. I, I don't have many people come to me and say, hey, I want to be a super villain. Uh, yeah. They want to be a superhero. Oh, it's symbiotic, isn't it? They don't exist without me, and I don't exist without them. But I'm the protagonist, or am I the antagonist? It's hard to tell. Yeah, I just enjoy creating havoc, because I think the world sucks without it. You know, it's really good. Nothing like mayhem. <laughs> I love mayhem. <laughs> Because it suits the way my brain works, you know. Totally. I pretty much can do anything. I can direct forces. That's what I do. And I can direct the forces of other people. I just manipulate everything. But I'm into mind games, you know. Oh, I just long for lost love. I need to get laid. I really do. So uh, we'll flash the phone number over here in a minute, okay? I bet your guy doesn't dress as flashy as I do. You know, look at the pack, man. You know, look at the pack. Yeah, the, boot, pack the boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>